So we've been able to create classes. We've then been able to create instances of those classes and utilize them within our projects. Now something else we can do, once, a, once an object has kind of reached its limits, it's expired, we no longer need to use it within the project, it's always a good idea to clean it up, get it out of memory, open up that resource once again for something else to use. That way we're not bogging down our system. Now Python has got a garbage collector. Essentially it's going to go through and clean stuff up that isn't being used. But we can help it out. We can make sure that the stuff is being cleared out in a timely manner and delete objects that we create when we no longer need them. This is a really simple process to do. It's going to use one keyword and you're going to be done. Take a look. So I've got my course class. I'm going to get into my shell environment and I'm going to create an instance of course. Let's actually create a couple of instances. So I got C1 and I've got C2 course and we'll call this one uh, HTML. All right, there we go. Now you can get in there, you can work with them, any functionality, adding students, writing to the students, so on and so on, whatever you're going to do with those. Now at some point within the application, they're no longer going to become relevant. We're done with them. C1, gone. I've done what it needs to do. Now we need to get rid of it. Well, in order to do it, we're going to use a keyword DEL, DEL, D -E -L, and I'll give it the object that I want to delete, in this case, C1. Nothing happens on the screen, but if I try to get access to C1, oh, name C1 is not defined. It's gone. We deleted it. Memory is now reopened. We have access to it. We're not eating up that unnecessary resource, and we don't have to worry about the garbage collector coming in and deleting it out whenever that thing runs. So utilizing DL Dell to build the delete objects that are no longer necessary within your application.